goodness. How did that happen? I'm sure it was Christmas like yesterday. It felt like yesterday. Felt like did you have a good Christmas? I had a very good Christmas. Thank you. Do I had a good Christmas? Thank you. Ate lots of food. Oh, so much food. So much food. I'm telling you now, the diet starts now. Yeah. It's so much food. Do you know what I'm really excited about? What? We're starting a brand new program. <gasps> a brand new series. Yes. It's called the Wow Factor. The Wow the Factor. The Wow Factor. What's that? About? The Wow. So it's all about weird stories in the Bible. There's and a lot of them. By gum, there's a lot. There's a lot of weird There's a stories. lot of weird in the Bible. And today's just starts at this level, weird, and then it just gets weirder as we go. I wonder what we're starting. So, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. That does sound very cool. I'm, I'm really, really, really about that. excited about the whoa factor. Can you do that? The world factor. <laughs> okay, we need to do a song. We do. What song shall we do to start the new year off? What about <gasps> screaming? I was just thinking screaming. We haven't done screaming yes. for like ages. I was thinking screaming. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot it. Scream it! Let's let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's go.
Okay, so this morning we are starting the wow, wow factor. Wow. Wow. So what wow have you got for me today? Wow, well, I'm going to wow. I'm going to wow your socks off. Wow. Yeah. I'm ready to just go. Wow. Whoa! Okay, so uh, do you know any other languages, Bobby? Uh, no. You don't know any? No. I wish I did. Do you, can you say hello in another language, maybe? Hey. No. No. Hola. Hola. Bonjour. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Good. See, that's three. Yeah, but that's it. That's all right. I had fun learning German in school, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I can't speak another language. No, it's it is tricky. It is tricky. I've been learning Welsh. You have been. How's your for um, over a year. Okay. That's and it's long. yeah, it's it's nearly two years. It's a very wow. long time, and I am not. Brilliant at it, even now. Other languages are true. And I am Welsh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, That's so, um, I'm doing gendery, um, um, doing Bill and Northallerton. My name's Jen, I live in Northallerton. There you go. Okay, so um, as you can tell, we are rubbish at languages. But, Robbie, do you know where languages came from? I'm going to yeah. tell, I'm telling you now, this is a wow story. Because... Because in the Bible, when the Bible started, yeah. everybody's got the same language. They did. They did. Um, who knows what it was? I think it could be Welsh, it could be English. Hebrew? It very likely it wasn't English, actually, but no. Hebrew, maybe. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. But all we do know is they spoke a language. Yes, all the same and language. And everybody understood everything. Imagine language. that, understanding Everybody. That would be that would be very cool. That would be really cool. So, um, so as you imagine, right? So cast your mind back to the story of Noah. Okay. Yeah. Noah. So uh, during the time of Noah, um, God flooded the whole world. Everybody was killed except for Noah and his family. And God said to Noah and his family, "I want you to um, have lots and lots of family and spread out over the whole earth." To repopulate the earth. To repopulate the earth. He wanted the whole earth populated. Now, uh, over a few hundred years, yeah. um, there were some people that got to a place called Babylon. Babylon. And uh, they liked it there. Oh. And they decided that they didn't need to do what God told them to do oh. and repopulate home. They decided that this was where they were going to settle. And then they kind of saw this place and thought, this is so cool. We want to be important. We want to show everybody that we're the most important place. Oh, it's going wrong. Yeah. It's going wrong. No one's listening again. No one's listening again. You'd have thought after a flood they'd have listened. They'd but, start listening. Yeah, but they didn't. Anyway, so what they decided to do was they were going to build a really massive tower because they wanted to show everybody how important they were. They oh. wanted other countries and other people from other places to go, Whoa! They're important. Is that the wow factor? It's kind of the wow factor. But there's more to it than that. Oh! You see, because when God looked down and saw this great big huge tower being built, he decided that this wasn't the right thing to do because they were showing off. Mm -hmm. And God didn't like that. And so this is the wow factor. Okay. He decided to confuse them. Okay. How did he confuse them? And this is how he did it. He made them all speak a different language. Can you imagine going to work one day, all speaking the same language, yeah. and then halfway through your day, you can't understand anything your mate's saying, what? and you're like trying to talk to one another, and it's not happening because they're speaking a different language to you. What? I know. It was really confusing. So they're all, for, hang on. all speaking different languages. So God confused them, and that's actually why Babylon is called Bad Bay. The, the, the tower is called Babel because they babbled. Babble, 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 babble. Because they couldn't understand one another. Imagine the amount of miming oh. that went on that day. Loads of miming. Loads of miming. So, but they understood each other. They understood each other at breakfast. By tea time, no. Wow. I told you. Are your socks still on? Just about. Just about. Just wow. About. That was a wow. So God made everybody wow. I know. So everybody couldn't understand each other anymore. Couldn't understand. And they didn't have Google Translate. No, they didn't. Or anything like that. They what? literally. Nobody 
had spoken a different language before. I know. No one knew what was going on or known how to, to translate it. Yeah. It's not just Google Translate. Nobody would have been able to speak two languages at that point. No, and it would have been quite scary for them. Yeah. Imagine going home to your family and your family are speaking a different language to you. That would have been scary as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that happened, yes. but it just said that God made them all speak different languages and so it confused them and just and it stopped them from building the tower. So did they then start listening to God again and carry on spreading out? Well, they did have to spread out from there, yeah, because it just got too confusing. Wow. I know. Really, really strange. And do you know what, Robin? Next week's story is even stranger than this week. That can't be true. Yeah, and the week after that, don't even get me started. That can't be true. Yeah, it gets weirder as we go. This is the weirdest story I think I've ever heard. Yeah, well, there's more weird. It's clever. It is clever. God's very clever. God's very clever. He didn't He's... hurt anybody. No, just confused But he them. still got them to do what he needed them to do. Yeah, confused them. Yeah. That is not confusing. Yeah. Do you want to pray? I'd love to pray. Let's pray for... All the different languages in our town. In our town. Think, Think about all town. the different people that live in Ooh. our town that have come from different countries. Let's pray for them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's pray. Okay. Dear God, we thank you that we can all speak different languages. We thank you that we can all learn from each other and learn about different parts of the world. We thank you for the different people in our town, no matter where they're from or why they're here. We thank you for that we get to learn from each other and get to hear and speak different languages. I pray that we won't be scared by things that, that we don't know, but we'll be interested and excited to know more. And we pray for a good week as everything starts back up again and we ask you to be with us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, there you go, more wow factor next week. Maybe we should start learning a different language, maybe. That could be a new thing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Awesome choices. See you next week for next week's story. Okay, boys and girls. Uh, for Christmas, time, yeah. we did the Sprout game. I was rubbish at the sprout game. Ah, uh, that was a game that I could do. You were good at the sprout okay. game. So for Christmas, I got another game. <clears throat> oh, it's dear. called Chicken versus Hot Dog. It's about right. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's like a bottle, a bottle, a bottle flip, flip challenge. A bottle flip challenge. And so what I thought we would do, okay, is uh, just this week, just practice doing okay. it. Um, have you, well, you need a minute's timer. A wave, a okay. minutes timer. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, <clears throat> we're both going to go at the same time. I think it's going to take me a minute to get off the table if it actually works because it's got this massive sucker. <laughs> okay, uh, and, and all we're doing is going to go this and we're going to see how many times we can do it in a minute, and the one that does it the most wins chicken versus hot dog. Practice week. So this is a practice week, and then next week we'll play. Yeah. This definitely fits the whole wow. This does fit the wow. whole wow. This is going to be a There's wow. There's nothing to say, but wow. wow. Yeah. For chicken and my dog. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a different one. It's definitely a different one. Okay, okay so tell me where to go. And right. three, two, one, go. Okay, so next week, 
We'll have a go at playing the game. Okay. Because it's got cards and stuff in it. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm loving my brand new Christmas game. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Next week, you could wear a spout sprout hat one. No, that's too much. Spur the sprouts are very tired. The sprouts are not Sprouts are very tired until next Christmas. Okay, uh, there are other versions of this game. You can just get a bottle, put some water in it, and flip it, but this is. This I haven't actually seen your chicken yet. Let me have This is. Uh, he's got a funny face. What's he got? Look at these funny faces. <laughs> the funny faces. Okay, we'll see you next week when there'll be more chicken versus. What a great <laughs> first program of all I could say. Oh my word! It's wow. 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 It was wow. We. That is that wow. a word? Is wow a word? It can be now. Wow. We is a new word. Wow. I mean, 2024 is wow. I just. And we've only started here. It's gonna get weirder. It's gonna get weird. I just have no words. No words. No, no words. words. This is crazy. It's just gonna be an interesting series. It's gonna be an interesting Very series. Very interesting series. Stay tuned, boys and girls, because it gets weirder as the weeks go on. Okay, I think we should pray for 2024. I think we should. Can I uh, pray? You can. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for the past year we've had. We thank you for all the fun, games, and silliness, and learning about you. And we pray for 2024 that as we go in, you will be with us for the whole time. That as we go back to school and work and clubs and everything, that you'll be with us and help us to have the best year yet. And that you will be by our side, following in and joining in the fun. Amen. 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 Do you know what is also exciting? What? Everything starts back this week. Everything? I mean everything. So, so tomorrow. You know, Ignite Life Group? Yes. Thursday? Tops. Tops. Friday? Ignite Extra! Yay! Also, a brand new series. Yeah. No, I'm not going to tell you don't, what though. Don't tell Come me. along and find out. Don't tell me. Come along and find out. Bring a friend, have fun. It should be cool. The points have started fresh. So we're back to zero. Anyone to zero. could win. Anybody can win. Can I win? Well, no. No, okay. So it's not anybody can win. The kids can win. Okay, the boys, oh, and girls. boys and girls Any of the boys and girls can win. Any of the boys and girls can win. Okay, we are, as you can tell, we're really excited to be back. We've had a few weeks off. We don't know what to do with ourselves. No. We've got a lot of energy. So come along and, uh, yeah, we'll see you either Monday, Thursday or Friday.